Hello everybody, j 9 Tech Reviews here. Today, I'll be showing you how to change the splash screen image for your computer. The other day, I was in class giving the instructor my full attention while customizing my laptop's wallpaper when a thought crossed my mind. Something to the effect of, hmm, I wish I can customize my laptop a bit more, but how? I've got a new wallpaper, a translucent taskbar, and even a few custom icons. And then, it hit me. The splash logo. You know how when you boot up a computer, a company's logo pops up before sending you into Windows? That's the splash screen, and I wanted to change the image from the tacky Acer logo to something more personalized, but arguably even more tacky. Anyways, this is one way to do it. If this works for you or helps you in any way, consider leaving a like or hitting that red subscribe button below. So, let's get right into it. Before we start changing things around, we have to set up the computer to work with the program we'll be using. The first thing you have to do is type in system information using the Windows search feature and hit enter. Look for the BIOS mode section and make sure that it reads UEFI. If it doesn't, you might need to hop into your system's BIOS to see if you can change it, which you may or may not be able to depending on your hardware. But for most of you, it'll read UEFI, so let's continue past that and into the BIOS configuration. The quickest way to do this is by holding down shift and clicking restart in the Windows menu. From there, click troubleshoot, advanced options, UEFI firmware settings, then restart. Your BIOS may look a bit different than mine, but try to look for a secure boot option and disable it. If this selection is grayed out, locate the setting to create a supervisor password, create one, and be sure not to forget it. After that, you'll be able to disable secure boot. Then head back into Windows and find the image you want to set for your new splash screen. You could find an image online and create your own, just make sure that it's cropped to 250 by 250 pixels. Personally, I made a custom logo for my boot screen with the words trap top. Why? Well, we'll just say that this computer has been through some stuff. Anyways, when you're done creating and cropping your graphic, save it as splash.bmp wherever you like. Then, download the latest version of hackbgrt.zip. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Also, while you're down there, we have a link to the official j Discord server. You'll get instant access to Discord exclusive videos and can chat directly with me. Anyways, back to the show. The file should be downloaded by now, since it's only 103 kilobytes. So extract it and run the executable setup file. This is where it could get tricky, so try to follow along. First, a command prompt will open. When it does, hit the I key to install the program. This is followed by a notepad window opening, but you can just close it. Then Microsoft Paint opens. Don't close this one. Instead, click File, Open, and navigate to the new partition created by the setup we ran. Locate the EFI folder, open the hackbgrt folder inside it, and paste in your custom .bmp file. Select it, click open, and it should appear on the Microsoft Paint canvas. Then close that window, close the setup, restart your computer, and you're good to go. Everyone's computer is different, and for me, this method wasn't able to replace the Acer logo, but it still cemented my crudely created logo on the startup screen, which is all I really wanted. In case you want to revert the changes you made, simply launch the setup file again and hit either D to disable the program or R to remove it completely. It's as easy as that. So next time your friend messages you about their cool new wallpaper or some other user interface modification they made, you can just show them your custom startup screen and I doubt they'll be able to beat that. For the most part. But that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, please leave a comment below because interactions with viewers will help boost this video on the YouTube algorithm and I guarantee that I'll respond to it. While you're at it, consider subscribing because it has a genuinely positive impact on me and I'm trying to get monetized. Finally, leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below and have a great day. Bye.